For me, that's his best start of the year. I know he gave out three runs, but to go eight, inning, eight innings against those guys, you get a rally there in the fourth a little bit, only gave up a two-run spot, and then a solar homer to belt. Pitches a scoreless seventh and a scoreless eighth on a night that you know, Cano and Webb both went back to back and it been nice to stay away from people and we were able to because of just in Gibby's best start of the year for me. Since you've been, since you've been here, the Blue Jays have been particularly difficult for you guys. This year you go 10-3 and three, uh, against them. How, how much satisfaction does that bring you? Yeah, well, we're um, – that, that's – like I've said a lot, they're a great team, and we're a lot better team than we were in the past. <laughs> and um, you know, we're more talented. We have better pitching. We have Felix Batista at the end, and some really, really good young players. And so we're able to pitch to them now a lot better than we, we did in the past. Um, but that's still a really dangerous team, and like I've said before, a great bullpen and really good pitching staff. What's Kyle Gibson kind of just meant to this team on and off the field? Well, he's 12 and 7. Um, just super steady, uh, ultra pro, totally professional. Um, he's incredible in the dugout, incredible in the clubhouse, total competitor on the on, you know on the mound every every start he makes, and um, unbelievable team guy. So everything is advertised and more from when I talked to the people from Philadelphia last year, and just so fortunate that um, you know we're able to have that veteran presence, and he was. He was outstanding tonight. Why over some of those defensive plays and getting Gibson through it? We have, we have just, we are playing really good defense. And uh, <laughs> just, I'm so impressed with our defense. I'm so impressed with just how we play the game. Run the bases hard. Um, we, have, we have instincts. We're, we're in the right spot defensively. For me, that's Cedric Mullins' best throw of his career. Um, what a big play that was. And, um, but, where we have good defenders at every position. It makes a huge difference. Was there any consideration at all to send Gibson back out for the ninth? It was not. No. I had Batista ready. I had Batista ready for a four-out save. Uh, Fuji ready if he got in trouble there in the eighth, and I had Batista ready for a four-out save. If, they got there. If Gibson had walked or given up a hit to Belt, would you have gone to Batista to face Batista Guerrero? would have been on Guerrero, yeah. Please against Guerrero after that first time taking order. Yeah, well, he came out throwing the ball as good as I've seen in a while. Um, like like always, ultra aggressive, 96 sinkers, pitches to both sides of the plate, pitching in really well. Uh, just a, I'm really impressed with our at bats there from the fourth and the fifth. Just you know, Santander, with the, you know, two run homer, and then just to keep the line moving at bats there after that in the in the fifth inning um, with some big hits and um, you know it's a tough starting pitcher that, that we got to. Is that the best start you've gotten? You've gotten some pretty good start, but. It's that's Gibson's best start. Is that the best start you guys have gotten this year? Um, I, I don't know. I have to look back. Yeah. Have we, had, we had anybody go eight? No. This is the longest you've had this Then I'll year. take this one. Okay. Yep. Brandon, does it tell you anything more about him to do that against that lineup, fighting for what you're fighting for, fighting what yeah. you're fighting, you know? Trying to win a series. Right. Um, last game we're going to play against these guys. Um, you know, lose a tough first game. That that one didn't feel good, and play really well yesterday, and to, to win a series the, with the way we did, with with Kyle totally stepping up and us getting some big hits and playing great defense, feels really good.